we can learn a lot when we listen to really smart people. Hey, I'm trying to learn all I can, and one of the smartest people I know is the person on this interview who's going to help you. I'm a little bit biased because it's Gina Carr, my business partner and my fiance. You're going to get a chance to hear her talk about business insights, philosophy of live and let live, and also what it's like in a relationship to be together. You're going to want to take some notes on this. Sit back and enjoy this interview with Gina Carr on this episode of Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. Welcome to Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, where you discover how to achieve your goals and dreams, getting the freedom you want, all while living voluntarily, peacefully, and with a live and let live lifestyle. You know, here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, we have a lot of fun, and we're helping you as an entrepreneur to increase your productivity, to increase your business, get the freedom that you want. And when I say we, I mean literally we, because it's not just me. I want to let you find out more about my partner, my fiance, Gina Carr, who's joining us now. Gina, welcome aboard. Well, thank you, Terry. Honored to be here. And it's so good to have you. And I thought it'd be just kind of fun for us to just come out and talk together about uh, your ideas, your background. For those that don't know your background, don't know who you are, you saying it yourself will be good and the role that you have here. So tell us a little bit about your background and uh, what you have done before coming to Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. Oh, my. Well, let's see. I have been a serial entrepreneur. I've started several businesses. I started a real estate business, a mortgage business, um, business brokerage, started a chain of community magazines. That All these businesses were mainly back in Atlanta. And then when I sold out of those, I started basically a marketing consulting business. And that's a bit of what has evolved, uh, has been evolved into what we're doing now, which led to Video Rockstars, where we're helping people get more confident on camera so they can get their messages out into the world. And then we have recently pivoted that to Star Graving Entrepreneurs. Before that, I did a number of different things, including working for Arthur Anderson as a consultant. I attended Harvard Business School, and where I got my MBA focused on marketing and real estate. And then before that, a long, long ago, I attended Georgia Tech, where I studied and got a degree in industrial engineering, where it really helped me focus on systems, processes, leverage, all those kind of fun things that are great. Well, Gina, you have done a lot of things. Tell us a little bit about your background and your ideas behind the live and let live philosophy, what that means to you and how you live that and pass that along to others. Well, certainly the live and let live philosophy is something that has been just part of my DNA. I think since I was a little girl, I thought as long as I was doing something that wasn't hurting anyone else, then why couldn't I do it? I never really liked rules. And so I, I just believe in the live and let live philosophy. I know the first time I ever heard you speak, you said something to that effect. And that's what inspired me to have further discussions with you, join your coaching programs, getting involved with you at a, at a deeper level and uh, ultimately much deeper level as we uh, eventually fell in love and did, did uh, become life and business partners together, which has been a wonderful thing. Yeah, it really is. And we've been able to share, and I just want uh, the world to know that this lady here has helped me enormously. Much of the good that's in my life, <laughs> matter of fact, a huge amount of it is from her and because of her, and I'm just glad to be with her. So Gina, tell us a little bit about the uh, ways that we work together as a couple, what you have seen that helps us to overcome sometimes a little bit of disagreements that are there. That's true with any relationship in any business situation. But uh, what have you found that works best and helps us to uh, get through and get the business? business done, get the job done, and still stay very happy together. <laughs> well, it, it definitely can be challenging when you have two strong-minded, arguably smart people that have different opinions. Um, I think I think one of the most important things is to is that we are always very respectful of one another. And we do recognize that even though it may not be the question that we want to hear or the decision that that we wanted, the fact that we have been able to discuss things and come at it from different perspectives is helpful. And on my best days, I, I do remember that hmm, it's not good to be surrounded by people that agree with everything that you want to do, Gina. It's good to 
hear differing opinions and to consider things that that might not be what you thought in the beginning. And then you and I have a concept that uh, we call owning the project. So whoever is the owner of the project, when there is a debate, when there is a, do we choose the yellow widgets or the blue widgets, whoever owned the widget project is the one that, that makes that final decision. And similarly, although we may not agree with it or be 100% behind it, we do get behind it because we recognize that that's going to make things more harmonious in our lives. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's an important point. Thanks for mentioning that, because those of you that are watching this, sometimes you're involved with uh, your partner. Some of you I know are working that way and you work together. We found that when we can have a yours, mine and ours, tends to work a little bit better that way so that we say, okay, who owns this project? And if I own it, Gina might disagree with something that's there. We'll talk about it because I want to get her insight on it. There've been many, many times when she said something contrary to what I thought and come to find out she had a better approach. And so that's good. I like that. She encouraged me to do some things that I wouldn't have done otherwise. And Gina, I'm telling the world right now, thank you for what you have done to help me on that. But I think it helps us to do much better when we have a yours, mine, and ours and sometimes just say, okay, you go forward with that. Well, what other uh, things have you seen that we're working with right now that are particularly exciting to you that we're taking to the world and how we're helping people in a big way here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs? Well, I think it's great that we're just guiding our community as it, as it grows. We've built a very strong community, people who have strong relationships with us and more importantly, they have strong relationships with one another. So uh, the old saying with membership programs is that they come for the content, they stay for the community. I think we've built a great virtual playground where people are really able to do that. And increasingly, we're bringing in speakers that are that are your friends from the Hall of Fame of speaking. They're world famous authors and just cream of the crop people. I'm going to be bringing in more of my Harvard friends and entrepreneurial friends. So we're we're reaching different. We're 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 really taking it up another level. So I would call this almost Video Rock Stars 3.0, now called Star Craving Entrepreneurs, where we're since we changed our name and we're not as focused on video, we're more focused on the entire entrepreneurial journey with this live and let live philosophy. It opens a whole lot of more opportunities for us and more doors. Basically, we're focused on helping people get the clarity they need, get visibility for their for their business and, and for their message, helping them to monetize through recurring revenue, through membership programs, online courses, mastermind programs, those sorts of things, as well as to help, help them explore Web3 concepts. So Web3 meaning, let's see, where's my little Oculus right here? Yes, we had some fun playing around with this the other day and helping people learn how to do this. So virtual reality and the metaverse with um, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and social tokens. So I know that's a mouthful, but these are really exciting things that we're working on. And we're also introducing people to um, to better nutrition and so to some ways that they can have better energy and live longer and enjoy life more through some experts that we're going to bring in, be bringing on board to talk about those things. Yeah, exactly. It's encompassing a lot, but it all relates to entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, we like to say uh, stark raving entrepreneurs. People have those stark raving fans and they're really enthusiastic about it, underpinned by live and let live as the philosophy. There's some people that are entrepreneurs that might be more toward a more of a collectivist idea. And we say, no, 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 we don't, don't want to go that. We let you do what you want to do. Let others do what they want to do, as long as you take responsibility for what you're doing and you don't harm others. You don't hit others, you don't hurt them, and you don't take their stuff. So it's real simple. And that's the message that we take out there. And we'd love to hear from you. Dear viewer, dear listener, however you're getting this, please let us know what you think. Do you like that idea of live and let live? Is that something that works in your entrepreneurial life? And if so, how does that work? And if you're working with a partner where you're involved in a relationship romantically, as well as working together, we'd love to hear from you on that as well. Well, Gina, before we uh, let you go, any final words you want to say as you're uh, embarking on a new adventure here, working Working with me more on the video and the other communication that we have. What are your words to that person who will be watching right now, that entrepreneur who embraces the live and let live lifestyle? 
Well, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. There are certainly people who had rather have the stability of a paycheck and the um, security of the opportunity that a job presents. But if you're someone who is basically terminally unemployable, <laughs> that that you're not really corporate material, good corporate material for whatever reason, and you want to be a stark raving entrepreneur. I, I just loved it the first time I heard you say that. And I'm so glad that we have brought that concept to life because I think there are a lot of people who are closet stark raving entrepreneurs. So if you mm -hmm. are a stark raving entrepreneur and want to know more about how to continue to pursue the entrepreneurial journey with zest, with joy, with happiness in your heart and more money in your pockets, then join us. You can check us out at starkravingentrepreneurs.com. We host free weekly trainings. You can find out about that at starkravingevent.com. And so through these different mechanisms, you can get more involved in what we're doing and, and join us. We have a lot of fun. We focus a lot on fun. And we focus a lot on building the business because we know that we can't buy our apples and carrots at Publix and uh, Whole Foods if we don't have some sort of currency that they recognize. Absolutely. Well, Gina, thank you again for all you do. And it's just good to have you on board with me. Good to be here. Honor. It's an honor. And for those of you joining us, we've got some real adventures now that we want to share with you. And those adventures are going to be ways to help you build your business as an entrepreneur. Drop us a note. Let us know what you're looking for, what you want to hear about. If there's a particular area, you might say, hey, I want to know more about uh, using Zoom or using Canva or more about getting marketing and getting more marketing effectively, things like that. Let us know. We'll look forward to hearing from you. On behalf of all of us here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, on behalf of my partner, Gina Carr and me, Terry Brock, thank you for being with us today. Hey, don't stop now. We've got a lot more videos out there for you about freedom and liberty, living the life of an entrepreneur who believes in live and let live. Matter of fact, here's a way you can make a positive difference in the world. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. That lets the algorithms know, those wacky algorithms know, that hey, people like this kind of thing of live and let live and doing it in a peaceful way. Thanks for being here with us and we're looking forward to hearing from you.